Hi, my name is Haley Miller. Uh, I am getting a degree in 5 through 12 social studies and I want to take this time first to just introduce myself. Uh, over the last month, I've been in the middle, I mean the high school. Before that, this semester, I've been in the middle school. I kind of take those experiences as I reflect here and try to like navigate where I'm going past this, where I've been because of the student teaching opportunity and everything like that. Now, I will say my biggest like thing I learned about myself and I would say even my biggest pro towards student teaching so far is how much I realize that I have a heart for middle schoolers. I really do enjoy being around middle schoolers and I know this is something that a lot of schools are looking for as a lot of teachers claim they don't like middle schoolers or that they're bad kids or whatever. Um, I have found myself really enjoying being there, being their teacher. Um, I like their, you know, mix of not fully, you know, growing up as a high schooler is, but also kind of having that, you know, intelligence to be able to learn about big topics like U.S. history. These are all things we have to, you know, learn to navigate as we look at middle schoolers because it is a weird mix between, you know, they're not little and they're not grown, but I have found myself that I work really good in that in between. Now, um, some things I've also looked at that I know I need to work on as I look at student teaching are, you know, time management in the classroom, just making sure you really kind of nail it, how it's each lesson needs to be down to the minute, you know, be flexible, you know, you can have, you know, this took a little bit longer than you expected, you can pick it up tomorrow with finishing it. Um, the idea that, you know, if it didn't take enough time, having something back up, you know, just planned out so you know what you're doing. Um, those are some things I'm working on right now in the high school and just kind of look, working on as I, you know, grow as a teacher. <clears throat> and then, like, when I look at my rationales as I filled them out, you know, adding to what I learned this semester, I just look forward to teaching. It's a great opportunity. It's a great time to, you know, mold minds of the future, get to teach them about what's happened for my, in my case in history. Um, even just teaching them where things are, you know, their political climate, all this is very interesting for me. And I'm so glad I get to tell, you know, younger people about it. Um, also, you know, with that same breath, I'm also excited for my communi community that I'll have in the school. Um, something that I already have been experiencing is community while I'm student teaching. But I'm excited to go, go to a school for a couple of years. These people really get to know me. Um, we can build, you know, lessons together and all this is something I look forward to because it was already, you know, a good experience that we had back at the middle school with PLCs and stuff. And even in the high school, I've only been there for a little bit and got to go a couple meetings. But e even there, I can see the community and these teachers have and they need each other. And it's a, you know, a wonderful thing to be part of and one day get to continue it somewhere else. But... You know, these are the main things I look at and I reflect on. Um, I'm really excited for community in the future. I'm really excited to have, you know, a classroom full of my own kids for a full year. The student teaching process really reminds you, like, why you got into teaching, why this was important to you. Um, the connections you have with these students, even over a short period of time, is amazing. So, you know, the idea that next year you'll have your own set of kids you'll have for a full year is really exciting and something that I look forward to still as well. And all this, you know, I'm just really excited for the connections to, I'm going to make next year. And um, reflecting over my four years at CU, even the connections I've made in Camelsville, um, in the classrooms, the connections I've even made through student teaching, all these teachers I know will be here to help me in the future if I needed it, if I needed to um, call them up for any reasons, anything like that. I know they'd be here for me, and that's a great sense of community, and I'm very thankful for. And, um, yeah.